ENCA's Edwin Khaswe was at the funeral service. It's been a solemn Friday here at the Four Ways Memorial Park where friends and family and colleagues have gathered to bid farewell to one of South Africa's most iconic sports broadcasters, commentators and administrators, Mr. Dumile Mateza. I'm now joined by one of his closest friends, uh, Ms. Savi Rambuli. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Welcome you, thank to you. ENCA. Thank you. Such a sad occasion, but as I was saying to Lunga Williams, also a celebration of life, a celebration of Dumile Mateza. A celebration of a giant if I may say so, you know. Um, Dumile did so much for the industry. I was telling the story now that I'm taking it back to 1996, the Olympics in Atlanta. Uh, those were the first Olympics that Vuyo, my late husband, did. And Vuyo was new to sports. Dumile coached him. Dumile told him what to do. Dumile was there as the big brother, um, sharing his expertise, his knowledge, and just a supportive, loving brother. So, Dumila, we're very sad today, you know. Dumila, a permanent feature in our home. So many stories that I could tell about Dumila. Very knowledgeable, uh, a very loving person. So, a very, very sad day today. Very unique character, larger than life. And he set the standard in broadcasting in the very early days. I mean, he. He, he, he was commentating in 1995 the Rugby World Cup in Afrikaans. I don't think we'll ever see the likes of uh, Dimila Mateza again. One of a kind. One of a kind. They do not make them like that anymore. Um, with Dumile, for example, even in his singing, uh, he would do the same. He'd sing Boys to Men in English and then he would translate it into Kosa and he would belt it out in Kosa so perfectly that you could only just smile and look at him. What a, what a wonderful person, really one of a kind. He was passionate. Uh, Dumila was passionate about everything. That's why we could relate to him on screen, because he was passionate, knowledgeable, and, 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 and loved his viewers more than he loved himself. That's why he fed them knowledge. And I was saying to Lita that he, he, he was this larger-than-life character. He was very unique. You know, you knew when... Uh, Dumile was around, but at the same time, in contrast, only close friends and family knew that he was ill. He, he was able to, to, to keep that to himself. He was uh, in a true Dumile nature, in that he never wanted somberness. Um, you know, when I got to the house immediately after I heard, the first thing that Ucholi did was, Mrs. Mbuli. And that was Dumile, like uh, Dumile would see me and say, Mrs. Mbuli, larger than life, so loving. So I don't, I don't think he wanted us to feel pity for him. Uh, he wanted us to see him as Mr. Mataza until his very last day, you know. Uh, and he also wanted us to have those memories of him, not just of a sickly Dumile, but of a Dumile who loved, who cared, who was a teacher and a lover of life. And it's been a very fitting farewell. Thank you for joining us here on ENCA. A fitting farewell to a man who set the standard in broadcasting in South Africa. And as uh, Savita is saying, we will never see the like of Dumila Matesa again. Edwin Khaswe at the Four Ways Memorial Park in Johannesburg.